Ayo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Grandmaster, back at you for another video. And in this one, we're doing another weekly glass market watch. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. I've been enjoying capturing all of these glass events throughout the week and then showing it to you guys, helping me remember all the things that made me smile and just showing you guys what inspires me on a daily basis. I've got quite a few good examples for this week, about 10 or so pictures. Uh, there was quite a few uh, events that happened this week. The karma was real. That was really cool to watch on Instagram as well. Uh, I didn't take any snapshots from it, but uh, Firefly had a show with Hetty Hawaii, had a huge amount of inventory dropped with them. So if you're interested in Firefly, I featured him in one of my shows in my one of my previous shows. So make sure you definitely go check him out if you're into the gorilla theme. And uh, other than that, you know, I'm trying to keep these shows consistent. I want to keep them all current, but I would like to theme, have like a themed show, uh, maybe sometime in the future where we're just looking at certain styles of pieces rather than it just being like a current piece from the week. But I do have a couple of stringer drawings that I'm a huge fan of. Anything drawn with glass by hand is super, super cool. Uh, and I do have a few pictures from the Karma is Real show. I picked out my favorite piece and then the the Devi that I had mentioned maybe was going down with Banjo Glass. It did happen. So I think that was really cool to kind of catch that on the, the up and up before it actually happened. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get right into it, guys. If you've been enjoying my content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Looking back, maybe, I don't, I don't know, a month ago, I was at about 40 subscribers and now I'm at 140. So I couldn't be more thankful for the growth on that. And uh, if you think I did a good job, make sure you hit a huge thumbs up and uh, drop a comment down below. I'd like to know, do you wear the same pendant every day or do you switch them out? Can you wear the same pendant multiple days in a row or do you need to switch them out if you wear a pendant every day? So I'm just curious, so drop it down in the comment and get a little discussion going. And uh, other than that, let's see what we got for our first piece. Grandmaster Glass. We're starting off with my personal favorite from the Karma show. This is the Salt Glass Collab with Karma. So they don't actually have a name for this, this design yet, but the piece itself is called a rainbow in a dark. And I just love that. The eye with the blue and the gray eyelid on it absolutely hits spiraling with the, with the teeth. Super, super cool. The engineering and design for it is insane. So with the, with the joint, it goes down to a, like a dual down take and then as it bubbles up it's a dual uptake and it wraps around like so the water wraps past itself into the drainage area and as it drains it comes back forward past the joint down into the bottom and just overall just thinking about that and using a piece like that is absolutely legendary my personal favorite collab out of the, all of the pieces that was at the karma real show karma is real show so uh yeah super super legendary Salt stays with the collabs, keeps them moving, keeps all of his stuff consistent, and uh, he's always innovating, so it's something to inspire. And just so, and let's see, I might actually, did I take a second? Yeah, so this was the backside. Oh my goodness. So as you were seeing, so actually it's got a dual downtake as well. So dual downtake, dual uptake, dual drain. So yeah. Yeah, I'd taken a screenshot and then I haven't looked at him again. Whoa, I'm just now thinking about the the face that it's making on the backside. It's like the skin, the, like the orange to the blue eye. Oh yeah, that's that's crazy. It's just like night and day difference on the front and back. The arms wrapping around, and so I'm not actually. So that would be the mouthpiece right there. So I was thinking the mouthpiece was on the backside here, but that is another bubble up area. So just to make sure it catches any like water splash. And then as it wraps around so that's that's absolutely insane with its little i would almost say like i guess it's helping it stay balanced but like praying mantis like monster like a crab maybe yeah that's insane octopus crab crazy crazy and with the background super super masterful photos on those karma glass and salt glass check them out moving forward there is the Devi. Can you believe that, guys? So I would assume that some of these accents are UV, uh, Illuminati or something, but I couldn't say for positive. And then it was collabed with another artist, 
with these faceted joints absolutely insane the entire piece is just like the assembly if you were able to catch it and you followed him on instagram he kind of documented his whole process of making this piece and it was super super cool to follow along and see this piece come to life uh super super legendary so uh can't you know i could stare at this piece all day you know and the fact that that karma was able to get a collab in with banjo glass oof oof keeping it real for sure up next we've got avi glass so these are going to be some of those stringer drawings that i was mentioning avi glass is killing it absolutely i mean his consistency stays up and it continues to increase every piece he does this has got an opal in the bale as well and just this acid mind blown marge simpson with a joint in her hand absolutely legendary work right there super super cool guy uh you know something something i really really enjoy and just seeing glass be used uh to draw with it it, it blows my mind it, it piques my interest and i hope you get you know something out of that up next so we also have a stringer drawing by kadu glass but this is a more abstract Rather than going as a, you know, pop art or, you know, real image, this is going for more, like, abstract and just, like, what you kind of feel, like, what it kind of inspires when you look at it. And it definitely has a lot of feelings, a lot of emotion uh, when I look at it. So to be able to put that down in glass and envision that and comprehend and then achieve that, super, super cool. I can't, I, I'd love to see this piece in real life, just the detail and depth in all of the colors super super cool kadu glass and also maybe in the comments down below tell me which uh, stringer drawing you prefer do you prefer like a more abstract style like this or before like avi where it's more of an image that you recognize and up next we've got kabuki glass someone who's definitely legendary in the glass community and stays on the grind he has these legendary marble style compressions He's done a lot of work for the Corning Museum of Art. I've seen a few demos online of him working. And his style is very well known and just absolutely masterful. And just his, his whole approach and his consistency and clarity and everything. It's definitely something to marvel at and stare at. So and I know he presents them really well. I've seen them be presented in like these wood boxes uh, with straps. And like he does these samurai uh, compression marbles that I, I don't even know how he does. He's, I've seen the demos of him doing flowers, but his uh, signature Kabuki Samurais, those are, those are something else, and I might have to feature those in another episode. But you should go see him and check him out on Instagram at Kabuki Glass, and you'll see what I'm talking about with the legendary Samurais. Up next, Beer Glass. This is somebody I've actually been following for probably 10 years. Back in the day, at least 2010, my friends actually had a beer glass rig with the drips on it and it was right when I was first getting into glass and I wasn't quite, quite comprehending like cost and like effort and where it actually came from and so seeing him years later and realizing who I was looking at it made it go full circle for me and so I've kept up with him ever since and he's such a such a great guy he's really straightforward and uh, he does like mystery boxes and weekly like pendants and it's just like his style is recognizable like instantly like everybody knows in the glass community who beer glass is and this style of fuming and the chaos tech and yeah somebody who's definitely really really great and consistent so like i said i've been following him for 10 plus years so super super cool to see beer glass and if you don't follow him make sure you do beer glass up next somebody else legendary going down the chain rude boy glass and when i first started following him back in the day he was making like chaos tubes and th that's where those came legendary for me it's like i absolutely love that style it's like i still to this day love those like mini tube beaker style kind of chaos wigwag style but he has evolved to doing the chester cheetahs and so he's got a lemon drop set and that's an og color from back in the day as well from glass alchemy He's got his cheetah, his Cheeto tech with his uh, hand, and he used to do, I think, longer uh, arms. 
And to me, it seemed a little bit like fragile. So maybe he's decided to shorten him up, you know, so it, it, he's got less breakage. That would be my guess. If I were to get something from him, I would actually ask him to do a custom long arm. So I think those are a little bit more rare. I've been seeing the short arms here lately. So he's got the Terp uh, Spheres, the Lemon Drop Dabber, the Spinner Cap, and a Q-Tip Holder. So that's really, really cool. Awesome set. I love to see sets. You know, color matching, colorways, different things like that. So... So up next, we've got Obi Wook Glass. So this is a trippy third eye kitten with crushed opal. And crushed opal is, is not the easiest thing to work with, I would say. And putting it into a sculptural piece, very, very cool to see. He's got some type of like either inlays or car like a like a grind right there but super super cool to see that pattern that just adds to that like trippy third eye open kind of deal with his like crazy eyes but uh yeah uh obi wook glass super super cool artist he's he does a lot of uh sculptures with elephants so to see him kind of do something different i love to see that you know going outside that comfort zone and uh his his elephants are legendary for sure so go check him out obi wook glass and up next, we've got Mataglass. He posted this on his page. This is a Mike Luna collab with the Orb. He usually is kind of making sake bottles or the bottles with the pop tops. And so he is really, really good with fuming. So I guess he decided to throw down with Mike Luna and give him some of his prep. And this is what they were able to turn up. And just the color depth and the pattern work and the fuming is just something else I don't see typically, you know, with the recessed joint in it. Very, very sick piece that Mike Luna sculpted up with his prep fume work. So I would imagine he just kind of mailed it out and they collabed over the mail, but maybe they linked up and it was a uh, in-person collab. But either way, to see this is super, super cool. Like I said, something different from artists is always cool. So it's like, I know something he used to do and then he kind of evolved into the bottles and this is something he's always going to have. So yeah, super, super cool collab going down. And uh, up next, we've got Bob BTGB. So pendants from him, I think for me, are a little bit different. Uh, usually you see his egg pieces and they're like almost like untouchable because they're encased in the egg rigs. So to see pendants, I really, really like that. And in this color, it's like an ether kind of blue cheese color. And it's just so, so peaceful with him sleeping curled up. It almost reminds me of like a, like a Mew. If you're into Pokemon, that's kind of like a, like a position for Mew or Mewtwo when he's in the test tube. But yeah, just so, so peaceful. Bob the Glassblower, he's been OG in the game for a long time. So super, super cool to see this guy keeping it real. And up next, uh, I will probably butcher this name, Takao Miyakai. Takao Miyakai, uh, I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, based in Japan, legendary artist, and this one right here has so much detail, it's like how big that marble is, uh, and by the way, this is the last piece, save the heater for last, so uh, yeah, Japanese artist, big thumbs up for me, big inspiration, I love Japan, and this is the secret hitter for the marble though, I mean, the size and the depth. And you're not quite being able to tell what it is. Is it a drawing? Is it a milli? Is it an image? What's going on with it? Now, those are dots. That is like realism, like dotting, like stippling different colors and details and layers into a marble to achieve that image. And it is just like so crazy with the, the UV accents inside of it. And it's just like if it wasn't a heater enough to go from that with the UV inside of it, it's like, oh man, skulls, you know, with the third eye and just all the trippy, you know, artwork and all the other extra eyes along the side, side wall. I mean, that's probably like a three, three and a half inch marble at least, you know, that's a, that's a huge marble. So that probably took an immense amount of time. Detail work, I mean, if you mess up on something like that, it starts to go wrong very quickly and it's hard to fix. So, yeah, Takao Miyakaya. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. I like that picture too. That one, that's the one that caught my eye as I was scrolling through on Instagram and I saw that. I was like, man, the foreshadowing and the image. Whoa, and then it's like I swiped over and I saw that. I was like, yep, that's, that's, that's the piece we close out for on the week. Alrighty, guys.
So if y'all have been enjoying my market watches, enjoying what I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have an artist that you think I should feature on the show, make sure you send it my way. Follow me on Instagram. Comment down below. Let's continue to grow this uh, community. Send this to a friend you know who's just now getting into glass. Let them know about it. Maybe you've seen one of your favorite artists in this week's market watch. Let them know. Tag them in it. So with that, I'm going to say smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, other than that, guys, remember, never stop evolving. Grand Master Glass.